Hi, I'm Wilson, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take information from your Android phone and put it onto a USB flash drive. Now, how is this done? Well, it's used with an on-the-go cable. On-the-go, or OTG cable, enables you to plug in a USB flash drive from this cable to your Android device. Now, here's a scenario. Imagine you have homework on your phone, but your charging cable is not functioning with your computer. And on top of that, your Wi-Fi connectivity is turned off for whatever reason. The only option you have is using this on-the-go cable. And I'm going to show you how to use it. But first, let me show you what issue you may face when it comes to using a USB flash drive on your phone. Case in point, this flash drive right here. This one will function perfectly, but I'm going to set it aside. This one, on the other hand, works great on all the computers. You can access data on any computer you plug this onto, but whenever you plug it into this phone, it gives you a warning message. I'm going to show you how it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and plug it like so. USB goes here, and the USB micro USB goes in here. Oh, and if you're wondering if they make it for USB-C, well, they do. Here's one right here. So if you have a USB-C phone charger type, this will work perfectly for it. The links for these cables will be in the description. Now, I'm going to plug in the cable where you would plug in your charger. As soon as I flip it, there we go. Now it's turning on. And look, a notification right there for the device. Now, it's going to say USB device, um, sorry, USB drive is corrupted, tap to fix. And you're going to get this type of notification. Whatever you do, do not, I repeat, do not click on the format button. The USB flash drive is perfectly fine on any Mac or PC. However, the Android device cannot read it. If you click on format, you're going to lose every piece of data on the flash drive itself. If, unfortunately, you only have one flash drive available to you, only one, what you're going to have to do is simply plug in the flash drive to your computer, empty out all the contents onto a folder on the computer. It could be on the desktop or wherever on the computer, of course. Then you're going to eject the flash drive from the computer, plug it back onto the OTG, and then you would click on format. That way it can fix whatever issues is going on with your flash drive. Please, I repeat, if you see this message, try to find another flash drive that will work because you don't want to lose data. Okay then, I'm going to click on the house button, go ahead and unplug the phone, and unplug the flash drive. I'm going to go ahead and plug in this one, which is fully functional. So right there. Okay, then. Plug it in. Notice it's going to turn on the light. Then we're going to see the notification, and this is what you're looking for. So it's going to say something like this, available for removing images and other media files. Now, notice how it says explore or eject. When you're done using your flash drive on your Android device, make sure you click on the eject option. The reason being is so that way you can avoid data loss and corrupted files. Sometimes it might not even show up. Sometimes it could look like this on the screen. All you have to do is click on Android system and look at the drop down menu and look at those options. For now, I'm just going to scroll up and I'm going to click on the file manager. File manager is a standard app on a lot of Android phones. Okay, so back to the scenario. You have homework on your phone. You cannot use your data cable and you have no Wi-Fi connectivity whatsoever, but you have an on-the-go cable and you downloaded your homework onto your download folder. These are the folders that you have to transfer from the phone to the computer. 
Now, in order for this to work, all you have to do is click on one of two options. You can copy the files, and when you copy the files, both the phone and the flash drive will have the data, or you can move the files in which you just take it off the phone on, onto the flash drive itself. What you're gonna do is click on the three dots, and you're gonna click move. So select all, and click move. I'm going to go to the USB storage, as we can see here. And don't worry about that file right there. Just click OK. Awesome. Now everything that was on the phone is now on the flash drive. In order to show you the proof, I'm going to go to internal storage and go to the downloads folder. And now it's empty. I am going to go ahead and make sure this option pops up for eject again. If you do not see the options, just click on Android system and click eject. Okay, the drive is safe to eject. Perfect. Now all I have to do is take the flash drive out of here, of course, plug it onto the computer and use whatever files I have to use for that homework or assignment. Oh, those are the expense reports that your boss is bothering you about. Now you're wondering, what if I have information on a flash drive, but I want to put it on my Android phone? Okay, then. Let's solve that. You have information on your flash drive. Now you need it on your Android phone. Simply make sure it's plugged in like so. Then we're going to go ahead and click on the file manager. Oh, for, okay. File manager. As you can see, the storage is in here. And again, you want to move the files from the flash drive to the phone. You can copy it, but I'm going to use the move feature instead. Three dots, move. Then I'm going to go to the files and data that's necessary for the phone. And I'm going to click on the move. Now, whenever you move files from a flash drive to your Android phone, I highly recommend putting it into the downloads folder because technically you are downloading or actually, no, you're more like uploading. I think <laughs> leave, leave a, a comment if I'm, if it's uploading or downloading anyway, so the file's ready to move and I'm going to move it to the downloads folder in the phone. Click okay. And there you have it. All the information now is in the phone. We go to the USB storage and notice here, nothing. It's empty, perfectly empty. If you're wondering why there's a lost DIR in this phone, it's because this particular flash drive, I'm going to go ahead and eject it real quick. This particular flash drive gave me that notification I warned you about. Now, again, if you're in a scenario, that I'm not even going to repeat myself to be quite honest but just to show you I did format this flash drive I took the information out put it onto the computer put it back onto the phone and it created that lost directory file I can use it on my Android phone now and I can use it on my desktop whether it's going to be Mac or PC I hope you found this information very helpful and if so please click like consider subscribing, and it would be really awesome if you would consider donating $1 to my Cash App. It'll be on the screen, or you can click on the link below. Thank you, and have a technological day.